because you've already done, I think, 25 weddings so far this year. I've got 25 booked. Yeah. Is it because these women don't trust their best friends to do a good job? Do they maybe not have a friend that wants to do that? And, you know, do you become their friend? Because you're going to be spending a lot of time with them. That's a great question. So oftentimes brides will hire me because one, they have a group of friends and bridesmaids already, but they want a professional to step in and do some of the dirty work so their friends can enjoy the wedding experience. Also, brides will hire me when they might have some close friends, but they live far away or they're not super close with them anymore, and they just need a girl to step in and make them feel confident and stress-free on their wedding. But it's not rent a friend. I don't show up and pretend to be your friend. Yeah. We do actually get to know each other, and oftentimes we spend anywhere from a year to three months before your wedding yeah. actually building that friendship. Mm. Well, Jen, talking about dirty work, does the groom ever take a fancy? <laughs> You know, sometimes I'm responsible for finding the groom, making sure the groom is sober. Um, I've oftentimes had to rally together the groomsmen to make sure that they're ready to walk down the aisle. So while I am the bridesmaid for hire, I oftentimes do the guy's side as well. We, listen, we, we use this word bridezilla a lot. What's the worst case of bridezilla that you've encountered and how do you deal with brides who are really, really stressed? I have dealt with my fair share of bridezillas, but I can't even blame them. Weddings are so stressful, and oftentimes it gets to you as a bride, and you feel so much pressure. I mean, I've had brides yell at me. I found brides who were so drunk they couldn't walk down the aisle. Um, I've done my fair share of, you know, wild and crazy things for brides, but I'm a very, you know, peaceful person. I don't let stress bother me, so I think that's why I have a great personality for the job is because I take it lightly, and I'm not phased by a bridezilla. Yeah, so whether you're paying, in, in our terms, £300 or £3,000, which, which would include organising the hen party and whatever, why do you think that you are a good investment? I think that weddings can be super stressful. I think people think they're perfect, but weddings, no matter what kind of wedding you have, something will go wrong. You will be feeling a certain way. Something will happen, and you need a professional there to step in and help you. I'm there for the people. I'm not there to set up your wedding, make it look pretty. I'm there to make you feel pretty and stress-free, and there's nobody else in the wedding industry who does this kind of job and this service for brides. Now, we've seen the film. Most of us have seen the film Bridesmaids. Brilliant film. What about the best friends? Are they not a bit jealous? of you. See, I might be a bit jealous if my best friend called you in. I'd think, hang on a sec, I'm your best friend. Why have you got Jen and not me? So oftentimes at first, the bridesmaids will look at me and say, you know, why is Jen here? Why do you hire Jen? But when I'm doing the dirty work so that they can get their hair and their makeup done and hit up the open bar, they're thrilled that I'm there. But sometimes the bride keeps it a complete secret that she hired me and nobody knows but me and the bride. Oh, how, well, how do you work that one out? Do you have to pretend that you've known each other for years or something? We do. We always have a backstory, whether it's I know you from high school or yoga class or art school. We have some kind of background story, um, which gets kind of interesting because she doesn't want anyone to know that I'm hired and I have to make sure that that happens. Well, that's fine from your mm. side because you're very professional and probably sober, but when she has a few drinks and she forgets who you are... <laughs> It gets, it gets kind of crazy. You never know what's going to happen. I've been to so many weddings, and I have to tell you, each one I go to, I'm still shocked at something that happens. Uh, Samantha says, obviously, most people would have uh, family or friends they could ask, but I know if I asked my best friend, she wouldn't want the hassle. This is a great idea. Lauren says, I think it's more about having a close friend or family member being a bridesmaid, not a stranger you don't know. Callie says, our chief bridesmaid was useless on my hen night and useless on our wedding day. I would definitely consider hiring yeah. Jen. What about, do you have to wear a bridesmaid's dress and kind of blend in with all the other bridesmaids? I do. I do. If you saw my closet in New York City, your eyes would bulge. I have more bridesmaid dresses than probably anybody in the world. So, yes, I do wear the bridesmaid dress. Yeah. <laughs> and, Jen, could I ask you, are you married... I'm not. I'm not married yet. Um, I am dating someone, and I hope to eventually get married. I, I do love the idea of marriage, but weddings I'm kind of iffy on and hope that one day I have a very unique type of wedding, which would be very laid back and probably just have pizza. So I'm one day you hope that you'll not be the bridesmaid. One day you hope you will actually be the bride. Of course, yes. <laughs> well, Jen, can I just say, I'm very organised, I'm very good, I have folders and different coloured pens, highlighter pens and files, so if you need any help, yes. OK, a professional bridesmaid... That's true. Particularly for your next wedding. For your next wedding. Yes. <laughs> I would do a very good rate for you. Mm -hmm.
Thank you. Yes, I'm always looking to hire new bridesmaids and do weddings all over the country and the world. Well, I uh, think it's uh, a fantastic great talking idea. to you. Great idea. Very inspirational for a lot of people. A new twist on the job market there, Jen. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. For more of the same, just click here. And don't forget, you can subscribe for even more of these amazing videos exclusive to our channel. What's a typical day like in the world of Julia? Um, OK, so I'll wake up. Um, I'll go for a run at Hyde Park if it's a good weather. If not, I'll go to the gym. I have a personal trainer. After that, I'll grab breakfast with a friend. Um, so I'll probably go shopping. Like, I'm going away, for example, tomorrow mm -hmm. on vacation. So I'm seeing my stylist. She's going to help me to pack all my wardrobe. So oh, that's <laughs> brilliant. You get somebody who packs your suitcase for your holiday. Yeah, so we go so you, you have a whole new wardrobe of clothes for a holiday then? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs>